Hey YouTube, let's talk about top three mistakes that people make when they want to go solar. Number one, they're choosing the wrong inverter. So they don't understand what solar power is. They don't understand the reason that they want to go solar. Do they want to reduce their electricity bill or do they just want to have backup lighting facilities and backup power? So that's one of the considerations to have in mind. For example, if you want to save power, then an off-grid inverter is not the right, it's not the most appropriate inverter. Right? You should go for maybe a grid tied inverter. If you want to go completely off-grid, then be my guest. Get an off-grid inverter. But that means that you've got to spend more money on your battery storage system. right? Again, because they maybe want to save money up front, they'll go for the cheaper inverter now off-grid inverters are cheap right but grid tied inverters are probably twice the, the price of an off-grid inverter or maybe even up to three times depending on which brand and so on so me i'm pro grid tied because uh, you could still benefit by, from being connected to the grid and also grid type a grid type inverter it takes care of all the blending of your electricity whereas with an off-grid inverter, it's not, it's not straightforward to, to achieve that. Next thing, number two, they choose the wrong batteries. Now, with a solar system and with, a, with battery storage, you need to have batteries that are capable of being deeply discharged and discharged regularly or cycled regularly. Now, if you select a field lead acid battery it doesn't have a battery management system, a BMS, and sometimes you could choose a high cycle battery instead of a deep cycle battery, and in the long run, it is going to cost you more money, right? So with solar, you also have to make sure that the type of battery, the make, is supported by that inverter. Number three, they use an unqualified installer. Now, when you're selecting an installer, the installer should have a couple of installations under his grid, he should, under his belt. He should have, um, he, should, he should understand how to install solar systems. Preferably, he should have a, uh, he should be a qualified electrician. Now, if not, if he's not a qualified electrician, you need to make sure that the cabling that he is using is, is a correct cabling and um, once your system is installed you need to get a compliance certificate from a qualified electrician that is able to issue compliance certificates please consider these these factors when you're selecting your installer your batteries and your inverter so thank you for watching and if you like the video please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe for more content